contacting me, inspiring me, motivating me, I wouldn't be here today. If I didn't have a medical team like the medical team I have, the incredible staff in the hospital, I wouldn't be here today. And without all of you, my fellow taxpayers, if I didn't have all of you, I wouldn't be here today. And I'm so thankful for that. I'm so thankful and I'm so grateful. I can't thank you enough. I didn't have private health insurance. If the taxpayers of this country didn't fund the service, the system, the medical system we have, I wouldn't be here today. The second thing I learned was the importance of doing it now, of acting now before it's too late. At that point in my life, I was the healthiest, or at least I probably wasn't the healthiest if I had cancer, but I thought I was the healthiest, the strongest, the most successful I had ever been. But I'd gotten lazy. And that's really hard to say, the fact that I'd gotten lazy. And I know there are people out there, you know, you feel the same way I felt at that point. You'd set a goal, you'd reach for your goal, you'd just about get your goal and you'd get lazy. You'd let your goal go what I was doing. I knew I was going to die, logically. To be honest, I guess I never really believed I was actually going to die. I thought I was going to live forever. But the fact is, we're all going to die. And if I died at that point, if I had died at 35, if the last thought going through my head had been one of regret, because it would have been, it would have been a regretful thought. That would have been the most painful death imaginable. Don't get to where I was. Don't get to your deathbed and die in regret. There's so much you can achieve. There's so much you can do. You just gotta believe in yourself and do it now.